Hey friends, Lissa here and I have my lovely friend Wendy. Hi guys! <laughs> uh, we are just going, we're going to film a video for her, but I thought I'd record it, stick it on my channel too, so I hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, great! Thank you, Lisa! <laughs> You're very welcome! Very welcome. <laughs> So, um, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Because people uh, who mm. might not know you in the Netherlands, um, I know you from yes. here. <laughs> from so, here. Yeah, I know that you have great recipes to share, and I want to go into what is your favorite food. But maybe go yeah, on and okay. say something about yourself. Please. So I have Lissa's Raw Food Romance, which is a YouTube channel. It has right now, as we speak, almost forty thousand subscribers. And I have my Facebook page and my Instagram at Raw Food Romance. So I've been raw vegan for four years this September. So in one month or so, a month and a half, I'll be um, four years. Wow, great. Yeah, I lost 70 pounds. Um, my joints stopped hurting, my acne went away. Uh, <laughs> so many countless improvements in my body. And I, my mood is lighter, my exercise is better. Uh, just, just so much stuff. So I've been doing that for four years and doing videos on YouTube and writing recipe books. Wow. So I have, this is my newest one, my plant-based soups and dressings. And it's got 117 recipes in it and it's split up into three sections. So you've got the no fat, the low fat and the higher fat. So you can choose based on where you are in your journey or what you want to have for dinner. So, yeah. Wow, yeah, it's great. Looks good. Yeah. Plant based dips and dressings. Dips and dressings. Wow, I know that <laughs> so many people ask, always ask me, Wendy, uh, give me the recipe for this dressing. What is your favorite? How do I make this? So, I think 48 ones. 48 are no fat. Are no yeah. fat, yes, because mm -hmm. that's. That's when people are going on healing and they want to ask me if I want to go all the way. I say low fat. Low so fat, yeah. You, you'll 48 ones yeah. that they're good to go. Yeah, so almost great. half this book is no fat added, which is, I mean, that's the way I eat. I eat mostly low to no fat, right? Yeah. I keep my fats with my greens at dinner time, but that's pretty much it for that. Yeah, and which yeah. one do you like? What is your favorite food? Well, it changes all the time, but my number one fallback recipe that I love is my French dressing. So, and that is just six dates, two cloves of garlic, a little bit of smoked paprika, lemon juice, and apple cider vinegar, blended with some water. Super simple, and it tastes amazing, and it's easy to make. Yeah. So, so I'll make that, like, you know, if I don't have anything around, or I want something quick, because I know, and I like it. So that's one of my fallback recipes but as for like tasty <laughs> I don't know it sounds really tasty yeah it is really good but I'm this mu the mushroom marinara mm -hmm. so it's like a marinara sauce that I put on zoodles or, or cucumber noodles uh, that one's one of my favorites uh, oh my gosh there's so like, I just in case that. like what are zoodles zoodles are spiralized zucchini or courgette yeah, yeah courgette, courgette, that's what in Dutch is called, courgette, yes. yes. Courgettes, um, just you put them in that machine, the spiralizer, and then you spiralize yeah. the cu uh, courgette. <laughs> yes, courgette. And then you make like a spaghetti, and then you put the marinara sauce Yeah, on so top. we yeah. call it courgette spaghetti. Yeah. Yeah, and it's yeah. called zoodles. Yeah, in, really cool. in North America, I guess we call them zoodles. <laughs> uh, just the because it's... Uh, we call them zoodles because it's a zucchini noodle. So it's a zoodle. <laughs> yeah, it's great. So yeah, so um, what else do I really like? I like the mustard barbecue sauce mm -hmm. to dip veggies in. Um, and I make a lot of raw sushi, so I have these two. Um, oh, I love raw sushi. I always yeah. ma make raw sushi. Raw sushi, yeah, yeah with nori and cauliflower for instead of rice. Mm -hmm. So I have these, um, these sauces with coconut aminos. Um, and other ingredients to make them so your sushi dip. Mm -hmm. um, oh, this one's really good. Rosemary goddess. That's a pumpkin seed. This one's a low fat recipe. Well, it's got pumpkin seeds. It's got pumpkin seeds yeah. in it. Yeah. So what if um, what if uh, somebody wants to make the dressing? Because I heard you do videos, right? Mm -hmm. You make videos on YouTube. Yes. So the first thing like people have to have to make. What is it? The first thing, oh, definitely like the French dressing. The French yeah. dressing. Okay. If, yeah. If you're gonna do something higher fat, 
then I would say the caramelized onion dip. <laughs> like if you're gonna go all the way, yeah, yeah. caramelized onions. But I also have a recipe in here. Um, well, I have well, caramelized. That sounds like it's. It sounds like it's cooked, but yes. it's not. The trick is when you. Um, dehydrate or allow like orange juice to sit you know how it gets sticky yes I know yeah. I know if you put onions in the orange juice and you leave it in the dehydrator or in the Sun yeah they get really soft and sweet I know so that's how I caramelize <laughs> sure. onions without cooking them oh I never a good name yeah. yeah yeah so and then we add the onions to like a French creamy French dip uh -huh. with cashews or whatever but yeah that's for the higher fat <laughs> great, great sounds <laughs> like delicious yeah. mm -hmm. definitely the French dressing is probably what I find most people tell me is a game changer because it tastes so good that they have a new recipe that they can eat all the time that's no fat super simple um, it's high calorie because of all the dates yes but yeah. is that what we want high yes, calorie yes. Yes. Okay, that's what we want. Yes. Okay. High calorie, but low fat. Okay. Right? Yeah. yeah. So you want to be able to get enough calories in for your energy, but you want to keep it low fat so that you actually use those sugar calories mm -hmm. instead of having them stored as fat or feeding your yeast or anything like that. Yeah. Because the higher fat that you eat, you're kind of forced to limit your sugars. Because if you eat high fat, it prevents the sugars from getting into your cells. The fat kind of gets in the way. Yeah, it gets yeah. in the way of the whole digestive system. And yeah, yeah, I usually talk about how your body works, and I tell people who, like, when they have issues with stomach or issues with intestines or issues with their head or whatever, then like how that works and what they can do about it. So, um, like, recipe making is more of a hobby of mine yeah. <laughs> instead of a work. But I really love it, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, so I, I, I am a cook, but people really don't know that you're like a professional cook, right? Yes. <laughs> without cooking. Well, yeah, without, so, yeah, without uncooking. cooking. Uncooking. Uncooking. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uncooking. Uncooking. Um, but well, I also call it preparing. You know, you prepare yeah, food you prepare or whatever. Food. Yeah, but... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So one more question. Mm -hmm. What would people who are pregnant or breastfeed who are like hungry all the time what would you advise them um well it, i would say if you if i was pregnant and breastfeeding i would probably increase my fat percentage a little bit mm -hmm. and have more say avocados or coconut because coconut's very low fat but it's quite filling well so depends i can think which coconut yeah, it depends on coconut. <laughs> I like the young Thai one, the yes, soft one. Yeah, definitely. So I would increase that, but if you... <sighs> more greens, but it's hard to eat that many calories from greens. So some people tend to default to like sweet potatoes, like cooked sweet potatoes, to help increase those calories just while they're breastfeeding. But you can actually spiralize raw sweet potatoes if you need those starches. Yeah. So okay. that's a possibility too, but... Yeah, definitely more fruit. <laughs> more fruit, more fruit. Um, yeah. Higher date, like add dates to your smoothies and your dressings because that will increase the calorie content. Because when you're breastfeeding, you burn an extra 500 calories. Yes, a and day, they're, they're like always minimum. hungry. I remember mm -hmm. when I was breastfeeding, I felt like hungry all the time mm -hmm. and kept losing weight, even though I was eating a ton of food. <laughs> yeah. But I think um, maybe resorting to avocados or the young coconut. And you can also get like Thai coconut, which is not so young. Yes. Since you are in the supermarket, you don't always know what's inside. Mm -hmm. And really blend it into some really good smoothie, like with mango or something. Yes, totally, yeah. <laughs> and then it'll fill you right up. <laughs> yeah, and really all it is about is eating more. And I know you're eating so much, so you want to look for more calorie-dense foods mm -hmm. so that you're eating a smaller amount of food that's higher calorie but you don't want to go too high fat because then that interferes with the sugars that you're eating from your fruits right so yeah. it's kind of a it's kind of a balance but definitely um, if you're looking for something starchy to just spiralize sweet potatoes and have those kind of like in a yeah. salad raw so, you can do that raw. yeah it's mm -hmm. always about choices right yeah so you want well what I always uh, advice and prefer for myself is to eat mono meals mm -hmm. so very simple just like 
one mango or two or three if they're yeah. very small or are just yeah. very hungry yeah. for lunch and um, for breakfast just one melon that's more my kind of mm -hmm. detox kind of style but for the long term I know people love this book and all the recipes yes and, you and mean for dinner you can have your friends over yeah. and tell them we're gonna have um, I'm just gonna make you a beautiful salad mm -hmm. and I think if you make use the book Yes, for They're sure. Going know, yeah. They're going to have a blast. They're going to have a blast too. <laughs> and it's also really good for people who are transitioning over to raw, who are coming from, you know, the standard North American foods like or standard foods or European standard food. European, European foods, food. <laughs> yeah. But it's very um, easier to transition when you have like very flavorful foods or even some that have a little bit higher fat if you need to to transition over. Yeah. You want yeah. to show another one because you're opening the book? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we just want well, to know what's I in like, the book. Huh? Yeah, yeah, my pad thai. Wow, it looks good too. Yeah, my pad thai. Because you're a photographer, right? Yes. You take all the pictures yourself. Yeah. And you make everything yourself. Yep. This whole book is all me. Like I did everything. I did the design, I mm -hmm. did the recipe creation and the photography and everything all by myself. So this one's one of my favorites too. It's fermented cashew cheese. Oh yeah. So this so, one's a little yeah. high fat, but it's good to take to parties yeah. where there's people who might not be vegan. Um, and they can't or tell the difference. Or it's for people who are vegan. Who are? Who are yes, vegan, who are but vegan, not raw. But not raw, like, exactly. Can they like some kind of cheese kind of style? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's okay. really great. I mean, because it's just cashews. Um, but there are a lot of recipes in here that are obviously lower fat. Like I've got like my sweet and spicy tahini jalapeno, which is a low fat because it's just tahini. Um, and then I got like a tomato curry, mushroom peppercorn, Thousand Island. <laughs> yeah, you got a replacement for everything. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> veggie balls. So, like, try it, guys. Like <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> yeah, so like tons of recipes in here. Yeah, good. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me on your channel. Great. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Same goes for you. Thanks. Thanks for having you on yours. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So yeah, I guess uh, the festival's starting in probably in a couple hours. Yes, yeah, so we um, have some time. Yeah, so we just wanted to make a little video for you guys. <laughs> yeah, we just want to share with you about the recipes because mm -hmm. all the questions are going to be answered, I think, <laughs> by, by Lisa. Mm -hmm. And she's going to give a little talk and go she, she, um, food preparation, I think? No, this year I'm not doing food prep oh. at the demo. Yeah, oh. I know. Uh, <laughs> but it's well, okay. It's okay, we got, we got a good chef. Yes, we have an amazing yeah, really chef, really Alicia. Chef. She's wonderful. And I'm really excited to see what she creates. But, yeah. yeah, I'm interested in her dressings as well. Yes, see what totally. I know, I'm really yeah. excited. It's going to be so yeah. good. <laughs> awesome. All right, thanks. Yeah, so, so thank welcome. you guys too. Yes. And See you next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Again, we were filming it for her, but thought we'd throw it on uh, here. Uh, if you liked the video, please click like and subscribe to my channel to get notifications for more. You can find me on Facebook, Lissa's Raw Food Romance, on Instagram, at Raw Food Romance, and on Snapchat, Lissa Raw Vegan. And you can find my wonderful friend, Wendy. Yeah, so you can find my uh, YouTube on Healthy by Wendy. We just got started there. <laughs> but if you want to go to Facebook, also Healthy by Wendy, then there's a ton of videos there and I'll be sharing all my information there and on Instagram. So it's just Healthy by Wendy with some <laughs> underscores in between and you'll be able to find me there. Uh, so on Instagram I'll share some daily recipes and whatever I'm eating in a day so mm -hmm. that you can see uh, what I'll be doing with detox. Yes, uh, yeah. this is perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed Thank you, this video. You're very welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Until the next video guys, fruit on. <laughs>